Now, let me give you some keys to provoke your next levels. Personalize this now, not for next levels, but my own next levels. Keys to provoking next levels. Are you ready? Number one is the key of desire. If you don't desire next levels, you can't have it. The key of desire. Desire. Proverbs 81, he said, through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermediate with all wisdom. It gets to a point where a man says, the one I know I've used, it has gotten me to where I am. Now I need to go for fresh rema. I don't want this level. There are others who say this level is good because people are clapping for me. Those clapping for you today will soon stone you. Because success not improved on will end up in failure. Yesterday's success doesn't equal today's failure. I mean, today's success. I tell people all the time, even though you refer to where you have been to from time to time, let people where you are know what is happening. After some time, they say, we have had, we have had, we have had what happened before. Let's see it now. The longer I've pastored, the more I've seen the need of desire. There are people you pray for to be healed who don't want to be healed. It's just simple. They don't want it. Be healed in Jesus' name. Pastor, finish. Let me go. This one, I like it. So what do you do? I've seen many, even in this church. They come for prayer, but they don't want they don't want it. They just, okay, let's just say we have done it. Let's just say he has prayed for us. So, but God, in terms of this, this level is okay. Okay, so stay there. How do I know what you don't desire? What you criticize, you don't desire. And what you don't desire, you don't deserve. Mark eleven twenty four. 24, he said, even when you pray, it's desire that brings answers. There are people who pray heavy, seven levels of tongues, but they don't desire anything. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you desire, when you pray, thank you for the heavy prayer. Where is the heavy desire? He said, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So it's not volume that brings next levels, it's desire. In fact, number two will not work without number one. If number one is desire, then number two should be prayer. The key to prayer. Most times you say, pray, pray, pray. You change levels. The first thing is, do you want to change levels? If you don't want, then uh, don't pray. Romans chapter 12, verse 11. The key of prayer. Don't be slothful in business, but be fervent. And one way you serve the Lord is on the altar of prayer. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Jabez prayed, his level changed. But that prayer started with desire. Jacob prayed, Genesis 32, 24 to 28. But that prayer started with desire. Hear this, and it may be one heavy point you will live here with. If you will keep changing levels consistently and continually, you need to be loaded, you need a loaded prayer program. A loaded prayer program. Why? Our prayer room is our changing room. As we behold him, we are changed. Aside his word, the next place we can behold him is on the altar of prayer. Also, new levels, new devils. How do you clear the new devils at your new level? Prayer. This one we are shouting, next levels, next levels. How many want next levels? You want it? You say not everybody's raising their hands, so I'm not sure. Do you want next levels? Yes. Answer, do you want next levels? Yes. Are you aware there are new devils? Yes. You don't like that one. You will succeed, oh, but people will soon hate you. Yes. You don't agree. It's the Bible. For a great and effectual door is open, but they are what? Why are there many adversaries? The door is great. Small door, small devils. Big door! They are all over. 
Prayer doesn't just open doors, it deals with the devils at the door. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. So number one is the key of desire. How many desire next levels? Shout with me, I desire it. Say it like you are tired of this level. Then after desire, we can discuss the remaining. Number two is the key of prayer. Number three is the key of revelation. The key of revelation. Just take this as physical keys in your hand. The key of revelation. We read Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 22. You know that very well. Revelation. Arise, shine for your light is come. Revelation. Rema. Second Corinthians 3, 18. As we behold him as in a glass, we are chained. Please, I want to challenge you. Read at least a book this month. Your revelation has brought you to this level of elevation. You need next level's revelation to next level's elevation. Some have not read a book since the year began. And we're in second quarter. But you have been praying, but you don't read. Revelation. Hunt for the undiluted word of God. Hunt for it. If you ever hear a message that doesn't challenge you, you are not hearing the right thing. The message that tells you all is fine, you'll be okay, just relax. You're not the only one going through it. Others are going through it. You know, theirs took 10 years. Yours may take 10 years, nine months, but God is not slothful. What, what nonsense. I don't listen to people who don't challenge me. In fact, stop hanging around people who commend you. Look for those who challenge you. If not, they will com commend you and condemn you. The same people commend you. Oh, sir, since you came, things have changed. They will keep commending you, commending you till they condemn you. So anytime commendation is too much, quickly run. And look for a challenge. Somebody that will tell you, you have not seen anything yet. You have not started. You have not started. Greater heights in God. New, new levels for you to, new deeper waters. That's what you need, not uh, you have arrived. You have not arrived though. Shout amen. amen. Number four is the key of the fear of God. The church suddenly doesn't fear God again. We are praying, but we don't fear God. How do I know? When I see what you do and you see what I do, then we know that we don't really fear God. You don't just need a desire for next levels. Listen to this. You need a life for next levels. Not just the desire. God is not just concerned about the desire. He's also concerned about the vessel. The vessel. The vessel. The vessel. Lord, I want to be used of you. Take away from me anything that will hinder your desire to use me. God is concerned about vessel. God does not look like man looks. Man looks at the outside. Fine young man. Vibrant. Have you heard people say that man can pray? Have you heard people like that? How do you know he can pray? Does his prayer have answer? That's how you know prayer, not uh, the, the way he speaks in tongues. Adu, shadi, etula, utumu, ushu, ushu. Where is the answer to the prayer? There are people without noise. But when they say, Lord, do this, God does it. The church will rate you by what they see outside. God rates you by what he sees. I've seen people that can pray, but they can sin. I've seen it. If you hear them even preach, it's just, uku, uku, uku. The altar will be shaking. Woof, 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 woof. But the man is fornicating. It's not a story, I have seen it. From that day I told myself, no matter what a man does, it doesn't move me. I 
I've seen people in the church who are pastors, they can preach. Everybody will be shouting, yeah, they'll be dodging, dodging. When they are moving like they are dodging the bullets. <laughs> but at the end of the day, the man is a confirmed thief. God is concerned about the vessel. If you do every other thing and nothing is working, check your inside. Because that's where God looks. God does not look like man looks. God looks at the heart. He says, say ye to the righteous. It shall be well with him. The righteous, not the church goer. It's in your Bible now. Number five is the key of direction. I consider his leading as a master key to next levels. If God is going, just follow him. You'll be changing levels. Just be following. You don't need skill. Just know how to hear him. God says, turn left, turn left. God says, apply to this place. Apply there. The salary may not look good. Apply there. Before you know it, you are the next manager. Amen. Apply. Because there is a way that seems right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. If you can't hear God, you are doomed. He's leading. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Even when he's leading me through the valley of the shadow of death, he has conquered death now. I shall fear no evil. Why? He's with me. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. He prepares a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, he anointed my head with oil, my cup, run it over, sorry. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. Why? I am following him. It's leading. If you are tired of this level, I think you should ask God, Lord, what next? What next? Don't guess it. Your guess may be wrong. What next? Number six, very quickly, because we have to close, is the key of prophetic covering. The key of prophetic covering. Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. Even pastors like us need prophetic cover. And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he was preserved and kept changing levels. Who is God's prophet over your life? Don't just acclaim it together. Check your heart. Is he truly considered as my prophet? In the person of God's servant, Bishop David Oedekpo, because you need prophetic covering. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Amos 3 and verse 7. Amos 3 and verse 7. You find that there, that the place of the prophet must not be joked with. Because God will do nothing except he reveals it to his servant, the prophet. What more? Number 7 is the key of boldness. The key of boldness. The key of boldness. You are not a candidate for your next levels without boldness. Because the moment you are about to switch levels, you will start hearing noise. And you need boldness to say, in spite of the noise, Satan, shut up. I'm moving forward. The righteous, I mean the sinner, you know, run at when no man persuade. But the righteous are as bold as the lion. Proverbs 28, verse 1. Boldness. We need boldness for our next levels. To even attempt the next level, you need to be bold. You can't go with this same kind of disposition to life. To get your lion's share, you need a lion's heart. Boldness. Satan, you are not stopping me. I'm changing levels. Why? I can't change levels with a grasshopper's mentality. Numbers chapter 13, verse 33. Remove the grasshopper mentality from your mind. Now, somebody says, what if I fail? What if you succeed? You know what I've learned? I won't give you room to criticize me if you've not attempted twice what I'm attempting once. Why would I fear your face? Have you done what I'm about to do? Somebody said that's pride. That's not pride, that's boldness. Why would somebody tell you you can't do it when they've not done it? They've not even tried it. Yes, you say, I can't do it. May you be bold. May every
every form of timidity be humiliated here. Have you ever heard people say, take care? It's a bad language. Don't take care, take charge. Have you noticed when people say, take care, they are telling you, don't do this thing, no, you know you are the only one in our family. If you die now, if I perish, I... Take charge, don't be taking care. Are you ready for number eight? I call this the key of a transformed mind. The key of a transformed mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I don't know about you, but I've gotten to the point where I've read and read and read and read and read, and I can almost feel my brain sweating. If you've not experienced it, then you have not studied Just like you can exercise your body, you can also exercise your mind. There are people with fervent spirit, but a dead mind. You can't change level by just your spiritual. You need the mind. Because you won't go to somebody to make a presentation for your business and be speaking in tongues. They say, what are you here to present? Lord Shali Kradus. <laughs> they say, this man, <laughs> get him, call a psychiatrist. There's nothing wrong, but you are doing the right thing at the wrong time. <laughs> you don't speak in tongues to get job. You, when they ask you, what's your name? What do you answer? Do you say Isaac? Right? You say your name, right? You don't say, Lolos Alula. <laughs> you say, this man is sick. Move him out of here. So transform your mind. Do what? Transform Don't be carrying big Bible with a poor mind. Transform your mind. In Philemon 1.14, he said, without thy mind, I will do nothing. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Christians, please read. Read. If I want to buy furniture, I won't buy it because I see a winner sticker. I will buy it because the furniture is good. Not one that's standing on three legs instead of four. Then something is wrong. Number nine is the key of kingdom stewardship. Matthew 6.33 is what every winner knows. Seek ye first. And then I will add all other things. Now, the things you need that you consider as your next level are additions to kingdom stewards. Additions. So we can serve our way from one level to the next. The key of kingdom stewardship. This one, um, maybe because of time, God will help. The next one. Let's go quickly. It's the key of dream. It's not a common message. This one, you can preach a whole message. The key of dream. Hear what God told me before I entered second service, or maybe while I was here, but I noted it down. He said we end up living our dreams. You will end up living your dream. It's not prayer. I'm not praying, so don't bother saying amen. It's reality. Where you end tomorrow is what you saw today. The power of dream. Proverbs 23, verse 7. He said, as he thinketh in his heart, so is. I can add that by saying, as he dreameth. A dreamer is not concerned of today. Because it's not today they saw, it's tomorrow they saw. Genesis 13, 14 to 15. God said unto Abraham, after Lot was separated, may God remove every Lot. Lot won't make you see you. Lot won't make you dream. God made sure Lot left before Abraham could dream. After Lot left, he now said, now... The one who has closed your dream has gone. Look from the place where you are. 
So you don't wait till tomorrow to dream tomorrow. You dream today for your tomorrow. Yeah. I wish believers know this. The power of dream. Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. Above all that we can ever ask or think. Ask or dream. You dream from here. Ask or dream according to the power. So we all have the power to dream. God doesn't just answer our prayers. God answers our dreams. Look at that Ephesians 3.20. I saw this from Amplified and I would have wished service was yesterday night because I was ready. Amen. Now unto him, by in consequence of the action of his power that worketh within us is available to carry out his purpose and to do super abundantly. Oh my God. Super abundantly, far over and above all that we dare ask. God is saying, dear dream. And let me confirm it. Or think. Now, what does think mean? Infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or what? Dreams. God asked me to ask you, what is your dream? They are crying next levels and they came to jump for next levels. Most of them don't have next level dream. They are still dreaming how to move from one room to three rooms. Is that dream? In the message translation, he said God can do anything. You know, far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your what? Wildest what? I hope they are putting the right translation. Wildest what? He does it by pushing us around. But by walking within us, his spirit deeply and gently within us, right? God is asking us. Those watching online, God is also asking you, what is your dream? <laughs> Big man of God, what is your dream? With your badge. What is your dream? I know you were here from the beginning. What is your dream? I know you can pray, but most of you can't dream. Have time when you sit down and dream. Wild dream. And see the president sending for me and asking me to pray for him. Ha! Don't say, don't say that. <laughs> what you dream is what you see. You think God made us pastors to be praying for only members? No, no. <laughs> After I pray for you this week, pray for you next week, at least we should change level. <laughs> can you dream? Are you sure you can dream? I'm saying you will drop your Bible and just start dreaming. Yeah. Dream, dream. You can't see your next levels, then we are just having fun. Power to dream be released to you. Amen. Number 11, let's move. Is the key of fellowship with God. Many want what God does but they don't fellowship with him for who he is. Why would we worship? Why would we adore him? Fellowship. May the fellowship of the Holy Spirit remain and abide with us all. Fellowship. That talks about walking with God, not just walking for God. Many are walking for God. But few are walking with God. 
God desires a walk. He told Abraham, who enjoyed change of levels, walk before me and be thou perfect. Genesis 17 and verse 1. Now, let's quickly fly. Number 12 is the key of trust. 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 The one who will move you from one level to the next, you must trust him. Trust him. Trust talks about absolute and unwavering confidence in the integrity of God and his word. Trust him. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. Just trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Because everything that we place in his hand, he's able to keep to that day. Trust that God cannot mismanage your life. God cannot rubbish you in the dust. He would set your feet upon the rock to stay. Lift you from the muddy clay and set your feet upon the rocks to stay. Many scriptures, but because of our time, we have to move. Number 13 is the key of testimonies. I've told you before, I hardly finish any message. So just take the end. The key of testimonies. Hear this. Let me tell you the truth. Never despise testimonies if you will testify. Simple equation. If you mock someone's testimony, you won't have a chance to testify. The people that say, how do we know this testimony is true? Go and investigate. You are free. But those who keep investigating the acts of God never experienced the acts of God. They overcame. By the word, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimonies. Hear this? All that I hear and those watching. Hidden in someone's next level is your own next level. When somebody stands and testifies, see how God has lifted me. God is giving you an example of what to do for your own. So in your pastor's next level is your own. In the testifier's next level is your own. Be humble and learn. And honor what God is doing in their lives. Hear this and hear it well. What you celebrate, you attract. What you criticize, you repair. To make your choice. Number 14, are you blessed? Yes. Are you sure you are blessed? Yes. Number 14 is what I call the key of thanks living. It's not a mistake. Not thanksgiving, but thanks living. Why do I say thanks living? First Thessalonians 5:18. In everything, give thanks, not for everything. But in everything, that means it's a way of life. Things seem to be working, give thanks. It seems like there's a delay, give thanks. That means it's a way of life. Although the fig tree may not blossom, there may not be fruit in the vine, everything may look like it's failing. Yet, I will rejoice. I will join the God of my salvation. He said, it will, the Lord is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet and he will make me to walk where? Where? Where will it make you to walk? High places. High places, next levels. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. When Jesus was going to show how he would come out of the grave, that was a next level miracle. What did he say? Father, thank you, for I know you have heard me. Lazarus! Come forth. So he experienced the power of his resurrection while he was yet still alive by the mystery of thanksgiving. Hear this. Please continue to celebrate God, the faithfulness of God, no matter what. Never have a reason to complain. If you will blame God, who will help you? So let's be thankful. These are 14 keys you can apply in any nation that would switch you from where you are to where you ought to be. I have heard from God. Between 
today and the end of June, your level changes. I'm speaking to somebody the word of the Lord. Your level supernaturally changes. Jump on your feet and shout the Lord as heaven. Now lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may the ground reject you. May the top accept you. I know I'm speaking prophetically to people who have gone around the mountain long enough. I decree in this service, you are moving to your next levels. It doesn't matter how many times you have tried and it didn't work. As I speak God's word to you, the next time you approach that door, it will open on its own account. In the name of Jesus. Over your business, over your career, over the works of your hands, next levels in the name of Jesus. By this time next week, the testimonies will have been all over the place. And yours shall be included. Somebody within the next 24 hours, just like they sent for Joseph, they will send for you. From places you never imagined, from quarters you never anticipated, from places you never lobby, I decree they will send for you. One day slept as a prisoner. The next day, woke up as a prime minister. I'm speaking to somebody here. Within the next three months, you will enjoy such dramatic next levels. In the name of Jesus. He was placed in the prison. That was his now level. But suddenly, by the virtue of discipline, he kept at it. With his gift, his gift began to open doors. And before he knew it, from the prison to the palace with a crown on his head determining the happenings in the city and in the nation dramatic change of story has God changed I can't hear you has God changed this quarter your own change of story shall be similar in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus' mighty name. Clap your hands, give Jesus a shout of praise for your new levels. Amen.